I'm a cow. Yeah, they're real. Quit staring. This is gonna be the hardest video to try and convince people this movie is actually better than it is, but uh, it's gotta be done, it's gotta be done! I'm doing this for you, Miss Calloway! So you know Home in the Range, okay? Home in the Range is a movie about uh, three cows trying to rescue their farm, and um, it put Disney in a very, very bad financial state, but you know, no one cares about that because, you know, Disney's doing that themselves in present day. The only difference is this movie is actually better than a lot of people think i'm just saying now am i saying this is like the hidden spider verse the hidden fucking uh puss in boots no it's not like that chill chill okay but it is a mid movie okay it's a little bit maybe a little bit above mid maybe if you pull a few pull a few strings you know <laughs> okay so for all you 12 year olds or uh the people who are sane and didn't want to watch this movie growing up i mean that's kind of a lot of people home on the range is about a cow named maggie she lost her farm due to um Reasons I'm just gonna say there's no really sane way to explain it yet But I'll just say reasons and now she has to travel to a new farm to where she has to make a new home for herself And there she gets to meet two of the other star characters in this show. It's not a show Hey a dairy farm now we're talking Hope it's not one of them fat free places you get you get it you get it okay because you know fat free Fat Free saying she's fat and, you know, they wouldn't allow her in because, you know, she's fat. And, you know, it relating to dairy, it's, it's holy shit. Miss Calloway and Grace, the two cows that actually run this farm called A Little Patch of Heaven. And so as soon as Maggie gets there, she tries to make herself at home. People are already unwelcoming of her. They, they don't really care. She's like very show -offy. She's not what is intended for family audiences. So yeah, Maggie's trying to just fit in, not really fitting in too well, but um, trying to make herself at home. But it turns out the same day she gets home, um, apparently the farm's just gonna get sold. Well, I guess I'll just have to sit on you. <laughs> Wrong clip, my bad, that one's for later. If they don't get their money in three days, they're gonna auction off Patch of Heaven. They get news from the sheriff that they have to leave the premise in three days if they do not pay $750, which is a lot of money back then, trust me. And since Pearl, the human, the owner of the farm, doesn't actually know what to do, the cows decided to take matters into their own hands. And so what does Maggie do? Maggie, um, what the fuck does she do? <laughs> Come on, Grace. We've got a farm to save. Well, you'll have to excuse her. She's just a little tense. Tense. What's her specialty? Sour cream? See, I know you didn't get that joke because I didn't get that joke when I was younger. Sour cream? Dairy product? She makes milk? Come on now! Come on, it's not that bad! She sees a flyer for the county fair that's happening in two weeks, okay? And uh, she tries to go to the sheriff's office in order to uh, extend the eviction notice. Uh, the farm getting evicted or, well, claimed or whatever. And so she tries to get the other two cows to go with her, but, you know, no. Callaway is not really having it. Callaway doesn't really like Maggie in general, just met, and I, I completely get it. But uh, she ends up going anyway because she got manipulated by some chicks, and it's kind of stupid, but that doesn't matter, okay? Before I continue on with the story, let me explain more about these three characters we have here, okay? First, we have Maggie. She's a brute, she's hard-headed, and she's fucking stupid. Next up, we have Grace. She's annoying, and she's fucking stupid. Lastly, Miss Calloway. She hates men, she's valid as fuck, and she's beautiful. So these three cows go to the sheriff's office in order to get some things done or something to extend the time needed. But obviously, the sheriff doesn't have any power over that. So, you know, these cows ain't doing shit. Also, they don't really talk to the human sheriff. They talk to the horse sheriff. And, you know, obviously, like, they can't talk to the human sheriff because, you know, they're fucking cows. They're... They're, they're, they're fucking cows and right as they're down to the dumps they have their hopes and dreams crushed they don't know what the fuck to do they overhear the sheriff talking about alimator slim who is a cattle wrestler and he's taking basically all the cattle away from all these farms and they're the farms are getting auctioned off so maggie has the smart idea of hey we should catch the cattle wrestler and uh I guess they're on their way to catch the cattle wrestler. They kind of get in trouble beforehand, but like, 
it doesn't really matter. They're just on their way to catch the cattle wrestler. That's what I'll say. Hey now, mud wrestling. Not a lot of people are actually going to understand this joke. It's basically a man looking at women wrestle in mud. You get it? Also, Callaway is such a lesbian. And as they're on their way to try and catch, you know, Alimator Slim, uh, they pass by a cattle resting area. I forgot what the fuck it was called. It doesn't really matter. What are three lovely ladies like you doing on a drive like this? Just ignore them and perhaps they'll go away. Oh, they seem like nice guys. Maybe they can help Why us. sure we can help <laughs> you. Maybe we can help each other. Callaway is a man-hating lesbian and nobody can convince me otherwise. As they pass by these very down bag cattle, okay, Alimator Slim is trying to take all these cattle. He is yodeling. If you don't know what the fuck I'm talking about because you haven't seen the movie or you're 12 years old, I'll show a tiny little clip. You see my Basically, um, Alimator Slim hypnotizes the cows by yodeling. <laughs> I swear it's a good movie. He hypnotizes the cows by yodeling, and you know, they follow his ass into his uh, cave, his dark cavern. And, uh, you know, Maggie and the three other cows, the two other cows, excuse me, uh, they escape from this because... Grace can't actually hear. She's tone deaf or something like that. I yeah, I'm just gonna say Grace is tone deaf. She can't hear any of the yodeling, or if she can, she doesn't really give a fuck. And so she saves Maggie and Calloway by, um, means. So now that they've seen Alimator Slim, they're trying to follow the tracks that the cattle left behind. And so they follow the tracks, and then they get hit with a flash flood. I swear to God, this movie's good. <laughs> After the flood, the cows argue Miss Calloway is fucking pissed off at Maggie because Maggie's making all these bad decisions in life and uh, Miss Calloway's just not having it, okay? She's like, you're not a part of the family. I don't really care about you. And then Maggie starts to cry because she's a little crybaby. And none of that actually matters, okay? Because even though Calloway and Grace really want to go home and just accept their fate, Maggie is just so certain about getting revenge on Slim. And so they convince... Uh, they convince Calloway and Grace to come with her and they just end up fighting Slim in this small little cave full of cattle and just blowing it up with TNT going going through this trail ugh, this fucking train system it's fucking stupid <laughs> Why is there even dynamite here? It makes no sense. Yeah, a lot of dumb, goofy shit happens. And so, Alimator Slim basically gets away and decides to head straight for a patch of heaven, their farm, because, you know, he just wants the shit over and done with. He had to face cows. He's just like, nah, uh, let's just not fuck around with this shit. <laughs> but yeah, a lot of dumb, goofy shit happens. And uh, the three cows end up getting locked in the train. Uh, Slim was gonna make a trade offer for all these cattle with some person who's irrelevant at the end of the day. And so the three cows end up breaking out because, you know, Callaway is a badass. She breaks through the whole fucking train system. And then, um, they just, <laughs> they decide to ride the train to Patch of Heaven because it was going right by there. Let's get it on. Cows down there. Yeah, look, look down. Hello. Zero purpose. And right before Slim could actually purchase the land, you know, the cows pull up in their train and they just wreck the whole fucking farm. And uh, psh, they they did capture Slim. I, I don't need to explain how they capture Slim. They basically they they fuck his ass up and they toss him into the train, the train engine, which he would have burned alive. But anyway, uh, they they toss him in that and he he's caught, okay? At the end of the day, he's caught. That's that's what happens. And so the cows, the cows get the reward money. Everybody gets to live happily ever after. That, that's the end of it. So a good question to ask yourself is, did I convince you that this movie is actually good? I didn't even convince myself. I literally, 
I literally got so tired of talking about the movie thing. <laughs> yeah, no, I think this movie is just super, super mid. I don't think it's bad. Realistically, I think it could be a fun time. There's a lot of just random stuff. There's a lot of fun jokes sprinkled in here and there. Maybe not maybe not laughable, but, you know, they're fun. Uh, good voice acting, and it's 2D animation, which, you know, I love 2D animation, so it's got to go high in my regard. Anyway, I think this movie... I think this movie is a four out of ten. I had to be a little real here. I like, oh, yeah, like, okay, okay, okay. Let me explain. You know what? Everybody else is giving it. You know, one out of ten, two out of ten. You know, three out of tens. I think a four is legitimate. Okay, it's not the best movie by any means, but you can put it back in the background. You know, and it's just, it's okay. It's okay. It's decent. Okay, I think that's what it succeeds at being decent, not really being. To need to be focused on too hard. Anyway, how's it going, pups? It's a canine, and I'm out. Don't embarrass me in front of my partner, please. You and he are partners. <laughs> so, how does that work exactly? I mean, do you get to ride him on odd days or even? That's 100% a gay joke. That's 100% a gay joke. I know a place pretty as by. Out where the river bend hits up with the end of the sky is left in Nebraska over a crest on a little patch of heaven 